Welcome to Your Beauty Fuel with Rita Catalino. Today we're not going to talk about carrots or kale or protein or anything like that. We're going to talk about one of my favorite foods and one of my favorite daily indulgences and that is chocolate. I'm talking about bean to bar, nothing in between. I'm talking about the real deal, just like our very own habitual chocolate from London, Ontario makes. They have a wide uh, variety of chocolates from, you know, 50% to sea salt with a little bit of chili flakes, uh, up to 100%, which I actually have learned to love. There's absolutely no sugar in this product and one square goes a long way. Okay, you don't need to get into a whole bar here. With one square, it's so rich that it really is satisfying. And they even have things like cocoa nibs, which we'll be talking about later today. But this show would not be complete without the chocolate monster of my house. Yes, there is somebody who loves chocolate even more than me, even more than Rita Catalino, and that is my daughter, Ariana. So stay tuned, and in the next part, she's gonna be coming into the show to help make some delectable chocolate desserts with me. You don't wanna miss it. Welcome back to Your Beauty Fuel. I'm here with... The Chocolate Monster. <laughs> AKA my daughter, Ariana. How much do you love chocolate? I don't know, so <laughs> much. So much? Yeah, and I know we've worked with Ariana to challenge her taste buds and give her chocolate from Habitual Bean to Bar Chocolate. And very rarely do we see things like Halloween we do. Um, things like Kit Kats and things like that. But on Friday nights, Ariana always comes up to me. She says, Mommy, can I have a square of? Chocolate. Dark chocolate. So Every day. Every day. I'm sorry. Every night. Every night. Mm. So uh, one of her favorite ones is the one with the? Cheetah. The cheetah on it. So this is a 65%, which means the remaining percentage is cocoa butter and things like that. So it's really, really good for her. So not only can you eat this just out of the square, but we've developed a few recipes in our house. One thing that I loved growing up were the Bounty Coconut Bars, and I know you know what I'm talking about. So we beautified this recipe. And all we've made here is, and I keep this in a Tupperware because this lasts for a long time. This is pure coconut with coconut flour Mmm, almond flour and an egg white to bind it and a little bit of water. And this turns into, you want to grab a little ball, Addy? Just like this with your hands? Why? Just try to make a little ball for mommy. Just like this. Okay? And you can make these little kind of logs or you can make them into balls like Ariana's making. And then you throw those in the freezer. Thank you, Addy. Then you throw those in the freezer and when they come out, you just get melted. Perfect. We're going to throw that in the melted chocolate. We just throw them in the melted chocolate. It's easier when they're done in the freezer. And we have, I should have got some parchment paper. Chocolate ball. A chocolate ball. And then when these are done and all cool, they look like this. And let me tell you, maybe I should cut into one. These are better than those bounty bars because they're chewy and coconutty on the inside. You can talk to the camera, you don't have to talk to mommy. And they have chocolate. <laughs> and they're chocolate and they're good for you. No sugar, no filler, none of that stuff that we had read on the Kit Kat bar. So that's one of our go-to treats. Our another, another favorite kind of chocolate makeover that we've done are, I wonder if people can guess what these are that we make all the time. You get to eat after we're done. What do you think these are? These are like Reese peanut butter cups, but guess what? Guess how many ingredients are in here? A thousand. Three, one, two, three, coconut oil, almond butter, and our pure chocolate that we've melted can down. I... Yes, you can have one. Yay. Go ahead, let's, let's tell everybody how it goes. By the way, melting chocolate can be done when you watch it. Is it good? In the microwave, or you can do it on a double boiler, which simply means awesome. hot water boiling, 
and a bowl on top and you slowly melt the chocolate down. But I find in the microwave, if you keep your eye on this stuff and it's pure chocolate, not the stuff that we talked about before, they're gonna have this golden, silky, delectable treat, okay? So we have that and in this bowl we have our almond butter mixed in with some coconut oil. And all we're gonna do is take a silicone cup or we've done this with little uh, muffin tins before, right? And you're gonna add the chocolate in here. Actually, I'm gonna get Ariana to do this because she does this with me a lot. I'm gonna add a really thin layer of chocolate on the bottoms there. And then you put it in the freezer and then it takes about a minute. And then you're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add the uh, almond butter and the coconut there, put it in the freezer for another few minutes and then we top it with the uh, chocolate. And then we end up with these yummy little bites. And let me tell you, they're very rich dark chocolate with one or two of those after dinner you're done you don't feel like you need to eat that whole chocolate bar like you do sometimes with um with the other things another thing ariana loves to eat which um a lot of i grew up on as an italian kid was some famous chocolate spread called nutella nutella of course is a household name for any italian kid and not italian kid um, but I like to make my own Nutella instead of putting in all of the garbage and hydrogenated oils that go along with it. It's not garbage, you know. It's not garbage, you know. Um, we're going to make our own Nutella. So we're going to make this right now while Adiana finishes our peanut butter cups. All we're going to take is a cup of nuts that have already been soaked. So you can use hazelnuts. I like to use pecans. And these have been soaked. So they're not crunchy. They're soft. You soak them. I soak mine overnight and then you drain them and I just keep them in the mason jar. So when we do put them in the food processor, they're gonna turn into more of a creamy texture instead of a nut buttery crumbly texture. If you don't soak them, then that's what you're gonna get is more of a nut butter. We want more of a cream. And to that, what we are going to add is a little bit of this chocolate. Can I borrow your chocolate? Yep. Because chocolate and nuts is literally what Nutella is, but they've gone and added a whole bunch of um, milk, soy, lectins, which isn't even real milk, and they've added a bunch of sugar. And really with this chocolate and these nuts, you don't need a lot of sugar. We can put a little bit of honey if Ariana likes. Mm, I, don't want, I don't like honey. I know. So we are going to just blitz this. Ready? Ready to blitz? You're still working on those, aren't you? Here we go. We're gonna let it go for a while. And the longer you let it go, so you let that go and go and go, and what it does is it becomes more of a creamy texture here. Okay, to this one we have added, um, I added honey to this one, and just a few drops of stevia, which is a, a sweetener, because Ariana likes it a little bit more on the sweet side. I myself, if you have an adult household only, then I would just leave as is. I mean, nuts and dark chocolate, what's wrong with that, right? How are you doing over there? Good. Good. So, so far we've made three things, super healthy, super quick. Your kids can get involved, make them involved in the kitchen because it's gonna be fun for everybody. Um, we're gonna continue with these. I'm gonna make sure I have a couple bites on the break and we'll be back with a few more recipes from the chocolate monster and myself. Welcome everyone, it's Rita Catalino again and the Chocolate Monster, so I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy too. I hope you enjoyed that little break and we were busy in the meantime finishing off those peanut butter cups and I wanted to show you, if you didn't have that silicone um, tray I had, it's just as easy to put them in mini disposable um, you want to eat this too? You're gonna to have to wait till after. Uh, disposable muffin tins and then you actually get like the Reese peanut butter cup 
little jagged edges. Do you see that? Do you see that? I'm torturing you maybe later. Okay, so we are going to make, oh, one more thing. Over the holidays or say if it's Christmas or uh, October or hearts for Valentine's or you can buy these really cool these are made for cookies and things like that but we decided to make our um, peanut butter cups in one of these just to try it out we made this beautiful snowflake if you can see and then inside is our peanut butter or almond butter mixture so our coconut oil our dark chocolate and our almond butter and it turns out to make this beautiful snowflake that we're gonna put on our, our platter over here. And once again, I really like the look of different chocolates and stuff on little mirrored uh, plates. It does look pretty. Yeah, of course it does. Of course it does. So now we are gonna make our, remember these? Chocolate cake. Our chocolate cake. Yay! Guess what the good thing about this chocolate cake is? You don't have to wait for it to cook in the oven. And the chocolates are delicious and I already had some. She already had some, okay. Ariana loves this. Our whole family loves this. We make this often because it's quick and easy. You put it in the fridge and it's done. So it's a no-bake, easy chocolate cake. I like to use these little pans. They're little spring form pans and it's the perfect size and it's the perfect um, depth for something like this because this is very rich. When we cut it up, you'll see. All you need for this is a food processor, one cup of the nuts of your choice. Once again, I'm gonna revert to my pecans, or sorry, to my um, cashews. Uh, pecans work good, walnuts work good, cashews work good. But I do not like any of those. You don't like any of those nuts. Okay, well, I'm sorry, you like them when they're in here. Uh, and then you're gonna add a cup of dates. So dates, once again, is, is nature's sugar. So whenever you're looking at a recipe and you kind of wanna beautify it, turn it on its back, just think about replacing the sugar with dates. When you think about flowers, white processed sugar filled flowers, replace them with a coconut flour, with an almond meal or something like that. Um, that's all we have is a cup of each. So the ratio is one to one. And then we've added a couple tablespoons of uh, real coconut. And we're gonna add a couple tablespoons of melted chocolate from our um, friends at Habitual. And I love this, look at this gooeyness. We're gonna add the couple tablespoons and I like to add sometimes a little bit of sea salt because do you know that salt actually enhances the flavor of the chocolate it's almost that juxtaposition um, and then one more thing I was gonna add in here I forgot was the cocoa nibs so the cocoa nibs are very pure so it's before it's even been processed so this is the chocolate bar without the cocoa butter um, so do you want to try one just try, let's see what you do. Most kids don't like them, they're very bitter. Mm. Ariana has a pretty good palate, so um, not bad. I actually mm. love these things. Um, actually, they're pretty horrible. Okay, um, we're gonna throw some into the brownie or the cake because what they do is they give that really good crunch and we already have the sweetness in there with the chocolate yes, bar. of course. So. We're just gonna blitz this, and by the magic of television, we already have one done! Ta-da! How quick was that? Um, so you're just gonna fill that up, press it in with your fingers, and throw it in the fridge. I like to do it overnight, because the colder it gets, the easier it is to cut, okay? So then all we have to do is plate this. Nice, beautiful white plate. Can and I the, have some? Yes, you can. Yes. We're gonna undo the spring form, and lo and behold, Remember, we didn't even have to put this in the oven, so we didn't have to bake for it to bake. And then you have to wait for it to cool. Then you have to put it on the cookie rack. And then by the time you're ready to eat the cake, you don't want cake anymore. You've moved on. That's what I love about this recipe. You can technically eat it with just, just from there, okay? Look how beautiful this looks. I can't wait to have a piece right now. <laughs> this is our beautiful mini cake. Okay, how does that smell? Um, good. Uh, we like to put raspberries on top sometimes to make it a little bit more no, decorative. And Ariana cannot wait for any decorations, as you can see. So we're going to cut into this right now. And we're going to give Ariana a little piece. Yay! The, Yay! the great thing about this recipe, too, is you can use that exact same... We almost eat this fudge or a brownie. You can use that exact same recipe instead of putting it in your spring form pan. Let, tell everybody how it is. It's delicious. It's chewy, it's gooey, it's healthy, it's amazing for you. You can actually turn these um, into balls, so you can make little mini truffles, 
Christmas, Valentine's, you know, make a little bit of truffles. You can roll them in the cocoa nibs and then you have a whole other recipe from the exact same um, batter. Are you ready to do another thing? While you're eating that chocolate, mm -hmm. your mouth is full. I can see that. Uh, one thing that I make a lot uh, during the week, during my weekly meal prep, if you, if you watched episode one, is I like to prep on a Sunday. And one thing that I pre-make a lot of are these gluten-free, sugar-free, flour-free pancakes. All they are, are egg whites, one whole egg, and some coconut flour. And, and the, trying to break. And these, can, these will go up on, my, um, on beautyfuel.com, so don't worry about the recipe right now. These are great cold. Many things you can do in this. We put bananas in them and then we roll them up just what like that. Color? You did for me one. Right? This morning for breakfast you had that. So yeah. we had these with Rita's homemade Nutella on here. Can I have some? We'll have some after. And that's what we're going to show right now. When I get hungry sometimes at night, you know, I need a little bit of a dessert and somebody else might be eating a piece of chocolate cake. Mm -hmm. Well, this is what I do with my leftover crepes and my homemade Nutella and my cocoa nibs. Are you guys ready? Are you ready for this? Because this is a game changer. Um, we, are going, we are going to show everybody what we're doing here. That's our presentation plate. I need a knife and we are ready to rock. Yeah. All we need is that homemade Nutella that we made mm -hmm. and we're going to spread it on our crepe. I'm just going to do it in the middle because we're doing something special with this after Ariana. Okay, so we're gonna do this. And then obviously you would spread this out all the way, but for the um, purpose of TV, we are going to show you this. Then we're gonna spread it on the next one because we're gonna use a special cutter after like a cookie cutter. I'll show you how. And I need four layers because yes, I like to um, eat and this is great to dig in at night. And all I it is- I love to eat too. Remember, all this is is egg whites and a little bit of nuts and some pure cocoa. So it's actually the perfect, uh, people always ask me, well, Rita, when I'm trying to reach my fitness goals, what should I eat before I go to bed? Should I have an apple? And really you don't want all of those um, carbohydrates, uh, sugars right before you go to bed. The good thing with this is it's a protein and a fat that's gonna help you uh, sleep better. Try something like this before you get to bed and you'll sleep better and you won't feel hungry through the night. Okay, I got a little uh, cheeky monkey beside me. Um, last round of this. How was that chocolate brownie? Tell, tell everybody out there. It was amazing. One of the best things I've had in the whole entire world. Was it chewy? Tell them some, some words about it. Well, it, was, it tasted really chocolatey and a little crunchy and... Chocolatey and crunchy, if that doesn't sound good. Okay, so this is one of those, you could use a cookie cutter. This is one of those uh, molds we were talking about that we've used for our salads and our squash and we've used over the past episodes. I'm gonna put it right in the middle. Ariana's gonna put all her pressure on there. Push down, everything you got, so even a kid can do this, good. Ow. Yeah, you don't wanna cut your hand. And then we are gonna save these because I mean, I eat food if it looks good or not. These are not going to waste, trust me. And then we're just gonna remove can I eat it? Our, we, we can try this. We're gonna remove the ring and then all of a sudden we have this beautiful little tiny layer cake that for me is perfect for my chocolate cravings before I go to bed and it still doesn't do any damage to the waistline, okay? So I think we need to try this. Do you think we need to try this? Welcome back to our chocolate episode. We're getting a little chocolated out, aren't we? No, we aren't. Okay, uh, I am anyway, but she never is. Um, so we're gonna try a few of these things, talk about everything we did, and then we're gonna do a little mini chocolate tasting um, for you. Of course, I can't so, wait to taste it. Uh, one more thing I want to talk about is this is an amazing uh, balsamic from the Olive and Me Company, and it is a chocolate flavored, we, we just wanna hold it so everybody can see. It's a chocolate flavored, balsamic so this is really great to put on things like meats and stuff if you want kind of that um 
more of a sweet flavor, but we like to pour it on our nice cream, which is an ice cream we make out of frozen bananas. And it's great to drizzle on desserts or things like this. So we're gonna do it, gives a little bit of an acidic sweet flavor. So we're just gonna drizzle a little bit on this. This could definitely be a dessert that you offer to your, um, to your guests. Why not? It looks restaurant worthy to me, doesn't it? Yeah, you can serve it at a restaurant if you work at one, or you can serve it at home. Okay, on that note, we're gonna try this. Would you like to try? Of course. So this, this is Ariana's breakfast, but obviously I don't make it look that pretty. I roll it up and, uh, and it's ready to go. But Ariana's gonna try just like this and she's gonna let us know how it tastes. I think she likes it um, and I love this so once again that was just the crepes that I made during the week and that they get saved it's a great breakfast idea uh, on the go you can roll them up or you can take two more minutes out of your time use one of those cookie cutters and get a little bit more of a more of a restaurant style look to, to it no um, and then of course we did the bounty bars with the coconut we did the peanut butter cups we made some look a little bit festive for um, Christmas or for other times of years. We worked on that amazing raw cake, raw brownie, raw fudge that we are gonna have a little bit after dinner, okay? Um, we worked on the homemade Nutella, which we've used. You can see, and the best thing for me is, out of all of these concoctions that I've done, is straight out of the bar. So Ariana and I are gonna try a couple. We're gonna let you know how good they are, okay? So we're gonna start with our, you always start with the less, when you do chocolate tasting, you go all the way up to the to the uh, most amount of uh, cocoa. So this is the 70%. We're gonna start there. Let me see how you like that one, Ariana. Take a square, try it out. I love this, let it melt in your mouth. Mm. Isn't that good? This one is a little bit earthy. It's silky. This one's from Madagascar. Ooh. That one's really good. This one actually has pieces of chili pepper in it. This is uh, the from Dominican Republic. I'm going to try this one too. Amazing. I wish you could try this. And guess what? You can. You want to smell it? I'm not going to give you it because it's a little bit spicy. Whoa. I'm kidding. Um, Ariana's gonna try the Amazonian, and this is made from the Amazons, and it's an 80% dark chocolate. So we're getting higher in the chocolate content and lower in the sugar or the cocoa butter content. How's that one for you? I'm chocolate out, are you? No. Not yet. She won't be for another 10 years. So in the meantime, <laughs> don't think chocolate is bad. Remember, bean to bar, habitual chocolate's my favorite and you can make some great desserts out of them or you can eat them right out of the bar. And from chocolate monster Ariana and myself, Rita Catalino at Beauty Fuel, we wish you a very chocolatey day.